What is up everyone and welcome to American Gamesman. My name is Chris and on today's episode I'm going to be throwing live shiners in freshwater. I'm going to be targeting largemouth bass, snakeheads, peacock bass. Also might catch a, catch a mine cichlid. Who knows but this is just a great way to get beginners into the sport of fishing and it's the easiest way to catch any kind of fish in a lake, a pond, or a canal around your house. So stay tuned and join me on today's adventure. Can't let these shiners go to waste. So, we're going to have to put them to action. They're active. This morning, I know some fish are hungry. Let's get her done. one like this rig them like that one like that the nose Large mouth and really small, smaller than I would expect, but hey, these guys.
little bit bigger bass. I'd say about two and a half pounds. It's a pretty nice one. This is a great thing to do if you have kids. Good man, and these teeth on these bass, man, are freaking sharp. Alright, so there you have it. Man, the teeth on these are so sharp, it's incredible. They must be just eating straight uh, shad, brim. I mean, these are some of the sharpest teeth I've ever felt on a bass. I can barely, I can barely pick them up. I mean, you can see these things. Look at that. They're so sharp. I mean, that is incredible. Usually a bass you can pick up, no problem, five pounder. But there's a, there's a, there's a four pounder out here. Five pounder's gotta be. Let's see him swim away to become a bigger bass. Ah, Survive him. He was in the uh, he was in those weeds quite a bit. Right. Gonna close his mouth. Revive him a little bit. Revive him a little bit. That's a good sized bass right there. All right, let's see if we can't catch a four pounder. I know they're out here. This is, like I said again, this is great for kids, beginners, just starting. You want to get them into bass fishing, throw some shad out there some shiners and you're gonna catch something i saw snakeheads in this lake i mean that would be a real treat for everybody if i could get one of those sun's coming up 8 30 now Gonna change locations once again. That's spot produced that probably two and a half pound bass. Happy with that. Moving to the next spot now. Third location, I'm having the best luck hooking them right behind that dorsal fin that they have. It's been producing the best luck so far. Head. I was telling you about they got them in here and look at that we caught one I'm no I have I've only caught one of these they fight look at that snakehead that's what I was looking for out of here and we caught them That is a snake head. You do not want to put your fingers in his mouth. He has very, very sharp teeth. That's just a little guy. I've seen a lot bigger in this uh, little lake right here, but these are fun fish to catch. Very cool 
you see that red orangish dot very cool looking fish alien looking Invasive. If you want to kill them, FWC says you can. I'm gonna let them go. <sighs> Pretty cool right there. Looks like a snake almost. this guy come close to shore look at the size of that guy just saw him come close to shore that's what I was waiting for look at the size of that largemouth that's a good three and a half pounder but that's a healthy fish right there saw him come up saw him he was looking at the dead one that I had on there and then boom he just hit that. I mean, the, the teeth on these, on these largemouth in here are just incredible. They're just, they're only eating good sized fish. I mean, that is a healthy bass right there. That's what we were looking for. That's a great catch. If you got your kids out here, just a healthy sized bass. Let's say he's around maybe 18 inches 17 to 18 inches we'll get a good release on him he is active he is even let my shiner go let's see if he can get him that's a big That's a big fish right there. And he's gone. All right, we're gonna move to a new location, try to catch a peacock bass, uh, and wrap it up. Look at that blue heron. He's big boy. Very cool. Awesome bird right there, Florida. Last and final location. I know there's peacocks here, so I want to catch one for you guys and show you how easy it is to catch with these live shiners. Let's catch one up. Last bass of the day. My GoPro died, so had to put it on the iPhone. Want to show you, you can catch these peacock bass with live shiners as well. Went to this spot, you guys have seen it before. Couldn't get it on the, the video, but this will do, and we'll let them go. Not the size I want it, but uh, because the black, the largemouth bass ate my last two shiners, but I was able to catch him. Beautiful fish. See him. That was a great day of fishing. I caught multiple species of fish. I wish my GoPro lasted just a little bit longer. So I had to put that one video on the iPhone. But other than that, can't beat that day of fishing. I caught three largemouth bass, one snake head, and one peacock bass at the very end. It's just a great way to fish if you're a beginner. It's gonna really get a lot of action on those live shiners and you pretty much can't go away empty handed. So I hope you enjoyed this video of American Gamesman. Again, my name is Chris. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Also, Put that notification bell on if you want to see my upcoming videos. I'm going to do one to two a week on fishing. Also going to start a um, 
reviews of some baits as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you like these videos. And stay tuned. Catch y'all later.